That's amazing. It freaking works. Today, we're going to be building the ultrasonic ranging alarm kit. Okay, so we're going to inspect the, the board and see how and what we're going to do first. The only issue that I see right now is this 10 microfarad capacitor. And it's a can and it sticks straight up. So there's no way for the, the chip to be mounted in. So we're going to have to lay the cap flat to the board. So what we're going to do first is we're going to install the two ceramic capacitors and the crystal right now. Because I, we got to get this area finished. This is like priority. Everything else is simple. This is the most difficult. So I want to get this out of the way right away. So let's get that crystal done. We are actually using a 30 watt iron. Something a little different than what I normally use. So now we're going to get the ceramic capacitors. You want to make sure that these babies are pushed down as far as we can go. this in as far as we can go. I'm laying that one down. Now we need one 4.7k resistor so we have seven of them. Perfecto. Okay, now the electric litter capacitor. Now I'm going to stick in the socket. I want to see how this actually fits or how it looks. And then I'm going to place the cap as well. I want to see how this goes into play here. So that's interesting. So we're going to have to put it like that. That's the only way it's going to fit. So that's important. So what we're going to do is, since we have it in great position, we're going to solder the socket in as well as the capacitor at the same time. This should be interesting. Wow. All right, so we have switch and three momentary here. So one, two, three. All right, so we're installing the three switches now. Then we're going to solder them now. Okay, those switches are finished. We install the power. And as you can see, it goes in like so. All right, so that's not in all the way. There we go. Other two now. That one. And this one. 
Ow. That actually popped. I gotta get glasses on. Okay, now the power connector is installed. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, we are getting there. Okay, so now we're going to install one, two, three, four, five, four point seven, four point seven kilo ohm resistors, including the re the transistors. There's four transistors here, and those four transistors are the nine thousand nine zero one two transistors. So we got to put four of them here, as well as there's eight. 1k ohm resistors here this is the last of the 4.7 so now we're going to solder those Now remember, I'm doing this with the camera literally right in front of me. So if you ever done this, record and do the project, it's quite difficult because I have magnifying glasses as as glasses, so I could see far away and be precise of what I do. All right, so. Okay, so as you can see, they look very nice and neat, and now we're going to solder them. Look at that, one swoop. Okay. All right, we're doing good. Now we're going to do the transistors. All right, we have four of them. The 9012 transistors. And you can clearly see the direction, how they go. Okay, so now we're going to knock out these transistors. Let's clear off the soldering iron. You got to go so quick with this. You don't want them to explode. Really? Holy crap. <laughs> really? Wow, that did, that took a long time to to flow. Did you see that? That was crazy. All right. Transistors are done. Okay, now we're going to install the LED and just make sure the long one, just make, just remember either the short or the long, the short is the negative, the long is the positive. Okay, we're going to knock this out right now. Okay, that's done. Okay, so let's get the bell. And positive is indicated there. So that goes in like so. Side of the bell in. This is having trouble flowing. It looks like it's sodded in, but it may not be. Yeah, it looks like it. It's not flowing properly. That's really weird. Okay, so let's do the readout. Okay, so we're going to take it off of the foam carefully. I must say, that was very difficult to get in. <laughs> but I got it in. I had to do it off camera because there's no reason for you to watch it for an hour. <laughs> Okay. We 
we are finished. Zoom out a little bit. Now let's cut off those extra leads for the readout. The sensor, which goes like so. Let's install the sensor. That's a pretty cool kit. Can't wait to use it. Okay, now we are finished. Now I left the buzzer cover on because I'm sure it's going to be really loud. So this is what it looks like completed. So let's investigate our work. Okay, now we've got to still put that chip on. Don't forget, we've got to put that on. So let's look at the soldering work we did. Everything looks nice and clean. Still going to cut this off. <laughs> I think something stuck to the ceiling. Looks pretty good. All right, let's install that. Let's install this. Now, these gloves are static proof gloves. That's another reason why I'm wearing them. Anti-static. I must say... Putting this socket in was the hardest thing ever. Because <sighs> it's just a real pain in the ass. Anyway, let's go see how this works. Let's plug it in, power it up. Plug this in right here. Oh. That's amazing. It freaking works. You press S4 to go into programming. Okay? Press S4 and hold it. Let you show you what the settings are. Okay? Press S4 again to get out. Press S4 to go in. And then plus a negative to do the, the setting. And then press it out. Press S4 to get out of it. So let's see. Absolutely amazing. And this is the switch to turn on and off. That is great. A successful kit. This is great. I'm excited. Yay! It works. If you think this kit deserves a thumbs up, give me a thumbs up. This is amazing. Let me take off my glasses so I can see further away. This is great. This thing works awesome. I give this the Joe Tech Tips instant awesome rating. I can't believe another product from Voyeur Time. And it works. This is great. This is really great. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and we'll see you next time.